before we can make our own Twinkie, we have to know what a Twinkie really is. In essence, a Twinkie is a snack cake that is filled with cream. It's baked at a temperature where you get that Maillard reaction. And if I break into it, the crumb looks very even and pretty tight, so there's not large holes in it. It has to be pretty dry cake so that it doesn't fall apart once you add the cream. And it looks like the cream has been injected into the center of this cake in three different places, so that's good to know. Oh, so it has this a little bit of a stretch to it, but I do like that, sort of like a marshmallowy. No, I'm gonna try and not replicate that smell. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is gonna go in here like all the rest of them. Will you eat one with me in solidarity? Okay. So like the first few seconds I feel like are pretty good. I mean, I think a Twinkie is a, a golden sponge cake. The shape is really important, I think. It needs to be bad for you. Other than that, I mean, fair game, man. It's really metallic and, and chemical. Perhaps it's the disodium phosphate. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Ingredient-wise, we have bleached enriched wheat flour, sugar, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, animal and vegetable shortening, tallow, hydrogenated tallow, cottonseed oil, mono and diglyceride, polysorbate 60, dextrose, calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate, agar, eggs, that's good. Water. Disodium phosphate. Locust bean gum. Modified cornstarch. Corn syrup solids. Soy lecithin. Sodium acid. Pyrophosphate. Soda cornstarch. Natural and artificial flavors. Enzymes. Yellow 5. Red 40. The end. A lot of the things in here I recognize as stabilizers. Immediately we eliminate a lot of these ingredients. <laughs> Time to get baking. One place to start is two separate tests. One is just like a classic yellow cake. This is really inside the test kitchen. Then I might also try another style of sponge called Genoise. Oh, okay, flower. Here we go. Based on all my pastry detective work, I think that's step number one. We need, here we go. Cornstarch. Uh oh, you're a broken egg. Oh my god, I don't I didn't preheat my oven. T terrible. That really should have been step number one. Uh-oh. <laughs> this cake doesn't have any chemical leavener, so no baking powder, no baking soda. All of the lift that it gets comes from the air that I already worked into the eggs. Okay. Okay, so I overcooked the sponge and they shrunk a lot, which was not something I was anticipating. They look like corn dogs. <laughs> I think it needs a little more time, and I overfilled them. Ay, okay, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. But honestly, in terms of overall shape and color and texture, could be worse. Now I'm just getting together the ingredients for the seven minute frosting. It's a very stiff meringue, so it's egg white based. I just switched to an electric mixer, otherwise I'll be here for the next 45 minutes. Oh, you guys. Oh, you need an <laughs> So it has that little bit of stretch that I felt like the cream inside the Twinkie had, which is very good. I think the sign to stop squeezing is when it starts to kind of flow out. And I'm hoping that the cream is getting in there. Okay. Here we, we have a little bit of a problem here way, way underfilled, like not enough cream at all. Because I think what was important about the original Twinkie is that those pockets of cream kind of ran together. I know now for next time. I have a yellow cake recipe, and I want to see how it compares to the Genoise from yesterday. I think it'll be maybe a little more tender, have a little more richness from the added butter. Also, one slight difference is that it uses a little bit of oil in the cake, so that actually to me is like something that feels more Twinkie-like. Oh, thank you. Yeah, those look good. Nice and golden. Give it a tap. Bigger tap. God, okay. Oh, all right, there we go. Not so bad. I am feeling like these look really good. Really nice, even color. Like little beautiful gold bars. Brad, what do you think? Pretty good, right? Looks like a Twinkie, right? Classic yellow cake. This is Genoise. That's standard yellow cake. Mm, these seem proper. They like, look way better, right? Way better. Yeah. Riddle me this. When you fill them, 
and then they hang out, inevitably some hydrating is going on on yeah. the inside. Well, we have a test right here. Oh, great. These are Twinkies that I hydrated overnight and let them sit out at room temperature mm -hmm. to see what happens. Mm. Oh my God, the cream like <laughs> disappeared. Absorbed. Oh my God, the cream absorbed. <laughs> There's no more cream in the Twinkie. It's gone. Maybe it can't be meringue. Because meringue is mostly air. And like, is it just going to deflate and absorb into nothing over time? Apparently, yes. Instead of a seven minute frosting, I'm going to use a Swiss meringue buttercream. We're basically creating a cold emulsion. You're just trying to eliminate the temperature differential between the outside air, the eggs, and the butter. It's looking really good, really, really smooth, very glossy. And I feel like I'm getting a lot in there, but I don't know. I want to see. Oh my God, no, pathetic. Okay, I'm going to try an alternate technique for filling them where I basically hollow out a piece, fill it, and then stick the bottom back on. Another idea to get that same like three dot pattern with the cream is to try even another filling technique where I bore out in three different places. So I think we should cut open the three different styles and see what worked best. This was just piping with the nozzle. I need to insert the nozzle further into the cake, but not bad. So this is the one where we cut out the bottom. I guess what's not great about this one is the bottom kind of wants to come off. This is the one where we board with the apple core. It's pretty even, it's pretty centered. Overall, really not bad. I'm pretty excited to try it. It's really good. What do you think it needs? This has a little, a little chewiness to it. Like you want it to be chewier? Yeah, I want yours to be chewier. <laughs> cake isn't really supposed to be chewy. I don't like cake. Brad just told me I should not make a good yellow cake. I should make a bad yellow cake. Yeah. Spongier. Spongier? How do you get a spongier? Do you ever make a chiffon cake? Oh my God, a chiffon cake. That's a good idea. Because that's an oil-based cake. Yeah. Oh my God. This is really throwing a wrench into the... Sorry. Can we edit that out? I don't want to make a chiffon cake. Oh, that's such a good idea, Judy. Sorry. Oh, chiffon cake. God damn it. Start over. <laughs> Start over. Oh. Thanks a lot, Brad. Sorry. Today, I'm back to try one more type of cake, and that is a chiffon cake. It's still a sponge but it has oil instead of butter. It might work well for a Twinkie because as we know from reading the ingredient list, there's no butter in a Twinkie. So I need vegetable oil, like a neutral oil because I don't want to actually flavor the cake. There's a weird shape going on, I think. Like you see kind of where the bubbles were in the egg. I don't feel that good about it. I don't think it looks as good as the yellow cake. Oh my God, it's like so sad looking. Uh, no. but My favorite one, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> what are you going to go back to now? I think it's just a yellow cake. What if it was like a, a happy mixture of both? Is that doable? <sighs> to uh, like Frankenstein them? Yeah. Twinkies are Frankenstein the, in my opinion. The only thing I can think of is that, that I could try doing is taking the yellow cake recipe and making it just like this mm. by separating out the whites from the whole eggs mm. and whipping them and folding them in at the end. Maybe? It's not a bad idea. Feeling this one, there's a moistness, like you kind of get a little bit of like a buttery residue on your hands. Very happy about that. I'm gonna break it open and see inside. Voila, it looks really good. The base of it is butter rather than meringue, so it didn't just like dissolve into air. They look great, Claire. They're really, really delicious. <laughs> nice shape, nice color. I think it might be your best batch yet. Well, good, because I'm not making them again. Oh, wait. <laughs> so I'm glad that I went the chiffon route, because I don't think I would have added in beaten egg white. Something about the texture like clued me in to that final right. step. I mean, I think this is how I would want a Twinkie to taste. Like, mm -hmm. if someone just described to me what it was supposed to be, this is right. how I would imagine it to be. Well, thanks. I you feel did like it. we, yeah, I feel like we accomplished what we set out to do. After many, many attempts. <laughs> Here's what you'll need if you want to make the Twinkies at home for the cake. Three and a third cups cake flour, 
two cups sugar, one tablespoon yeah. baking powder, one teaspoon kosher salt, half a teaspoon baking soda, two sticks unsalted butter at room temperature, one cup buttermilk at room temperature, two tablespoons vegetable oil, five large egg yolks, plus three large egg whites, and one tablespoon vanilla extract. So whisk together all of your dry ingredients in the bowl of an electric mixer. Add the butter, buttermilk, and oil, and beat on medium speed until it's smooth. Add your egg yolks and vanilla, and beat again until smooth and light. Whip your egg whites to stiff peaks and fold into the batter. Use a piping bag to fill the molds about two thirds of the way, and then bake in the oven until they're risen and golden brown around the edges about 20 minutes. So for the frosting, you'll need two large egg whites, a half a cup of sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon cream of tartar, two sticks unsalted butter that are very room temperature, and one tablespoon vanilla extract. Combine the egg whites and the half cup sugar in the bowl of an electric mixer. Beat over a double boiler until the mixture is thick and white and it registers 160 on an instant rate thermometer. Whip the egg white mixture until the sides of the bowl are room temperature. A tablespoon at a time, add your butter, beating on high until the mixture is super thick and light, then add your vanilla. Transfer the buttercream to a piping bag that has an injector tip fitted on the end. Flip the Twinkies over and insert the tip of the injector about a half inch down into the cake and squeeze evenly until you can see the size of the Twinkie expand and enjoy. All right, there's only one thing left to do. Oh, bye Wait. Twinkie.